Hello everyone, my name is Shreyas and today we're going to be doing some very simple, very easy data analysis, particularly data cleaning on um, um, R's default uh, data set called Air Quality. Air Quality is one of the many data sets that you can access using the data command in R. Uh, as you can see, we have a list of data, it's quite big, um, but today we're going to be focusing on the Air Quality data set. I'm going to type the view command to view it really quickly. All right. So here's our data. It's really, really simple. We only have six features, um, starting with ozone, which is the mean ozone uh, value on a given day, the solar radiation, average wind speed, temperature, um, month of the year. Uh, we're limited in terms of month because we only have values ranging from five to nine I believe that's right so we don't have values for any of the other months so just five to nine uh, and then we have obviously um, the day of the month one to 31 and 30 okay so the first thing that we observe here is that we have a lot of NA or missing values so in order to deal with that we need to um, drop these NA values right using uh, we're going to drop them using a library. The library that we need for this purpose is going to be called tidier. Um, once we load up this library, and if you get an error at this stage, just do install packages and then type in tidier, and that should sort of do the trick for you. But anyway, now that we have tidier, we're going to create a new data frame called clean uh, that's going to have all or uh, just no any values and the way to do that is using the command drop na right this is going to be really simple and we just type in the name of the data frame um, from which we want to drop all of the any values which in our case is the air quality data set when we hit enter, we get a new data frame called clean, which has no missing values as you can see. So really nice and simple first step. Um, we have lost around 40 observations. So before we had 153 and now we have around 111. Okay. Now the next step is to sort of take a quick cursory look at what the data is that we're dealing with here. So we're going to do the structure command, str, type in clean. And this gives us a list. First of all, it tells us that this is a data frame that we're dealing with, which is really important. So it's not a matrix, not any other kind of data, it's a data frame. We have 111 observations out of six features or six uh, variables. We have ozone, this, um, we already went over that. Now the important thing is um, the data types that we have, right? So ozone is integer, integer, numeric, that's all fine, but uh, you want your month value to be uh, a factor or you want it to be uh, a category, right? So you have five, six, seven, eight, you have a sort of, um, you know, a list of different months. So the way, so that's gonna be the first change that we make, right? So clean up data. So the first change that we're going to make is we have clean, which is the name of our data. The column that we're going to change is month. We're going to load it as a factor, which is basically ours way of saying that it's going to be, you know, um, a, a category, categorical variable with multiple classes. <laughs> It, which is R's way of saying that it's going to be a categorical variable with multiple classes. So th then we again just specify that the variable that we want to change or modify is month, and that should do it. And now when we type in the structure for clean, we see that month is loaded up as a factor with five levels, five, six, seven, and eight. There should also be nine, it's just not included here. Um, the next step that we can do is create a new variable as a binary classifier. 
right? So we have ozone, which uh, it might be helpful to sort of calculate the mean value of ozone, uh, which arrives to be at 42.0991. So it makes logical sense that if on a given day, your ozone value is greater than 42, it's probably a bad day to be going outside. If it's less than 42, then it's probably okay. So what we could do is probably create um, a variable. Let's call it, um, uh, let's call it quality. Right, so create new variable quality where if the um, ozone is greater than the mean, then quality equals bad. If not, quality equals good. So how do we do that? First things first, how do we create a new variable in a data frame? So the first step doing that is specify the data frame in which you want to create a new data, in which you want to create a new variable. In our case, that data frame is clean. We type in the dollar sign and we don't want to use any of the existing variables because we're trying to create something new. We're going to call it quality and the simple less than and dash and that is going to create a new variable called quality based on whatever information we type in over here so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to type in as factor because this is going to be a factor because it's going to be a binary classifier or zero or a one so it's going to be a category second thing that we're going to do is type in if else right if else and this is just a base function in R, really straightforward. Now, what is the test that we wanna do over here? We wanna say if the quality, if the ozone is greater than the mean, then the quality is bad. If not, then the quality is good. So if the ozone value is greater than X, which X is the mean over here. Instead, you could also type in mean of clean ozone, or you can also just type in X because we have stored X as, as that. If um, the ozone value is greater than X, then we wanted to say bad. If it is less than X, then we wanted to say good. All right, now let us look at clean. So we have, um, uh, and again, you wanna remember that the ozone value is 42, right? So because this is less than 42, we have it saying good. Um, 36 is less than 42, so it says good. If we scroll down, then we have 45 as the ozone, then we have 115, which is obviously really, really bad. And so it says bad over here. We want to confirm if this is loaded as a factor. And lo and behold, it is loaded as a factor with two levels, bad and good. Right? So that's, uh, that's that. Now we can do some interesting analysis. Now that our data is relatively clean, we can do some analysis. We can probably predict on a given day what the ozone is going to be based on the solar radiation the wind and temperature all right so let's uh, let's create a simple linear regression using the lm command okay we're going to create a new model using the lm command and we're going to build a model so we're going to try and predict the ozone level Um, the dependent variables are going to be solar radiation, um, probably wind, temperature, um, maybe month, let's do month, 
uh, for some for fun really just for no other reason um, all right let's see what else that's that seems sufficient for our purposes over here ozone not oh we have to specify the data obviously data is equal to clean okay perfect now we have a model that we have built let us see what results we get by using the summarize or the summary function so uh, the interesting that thing that we notice is that uh, R automatically breaks up the month into um, six seven eight and nine and you might be wondering where the fifth month goes and uh, that's just going to be the intercept value so you don't have you don't have to worry about that that's uh, a little complicated for the purposes of this video if you understand it then great um, but if not that's perfectly okay All right uh, the interesting thing is or the thing that we need to see first is the p-value to see if all of our variables are statistically significant or not and it turns out that our um, month values are not statistically significant because uh, and and the way to sort of test that is look at these different stars if it has um, you know three stars then the p-value is practically zero which as you can see is practically zero so it is significant if it's uh, two stars then it is significant at um, uh, you know this this level if it's one star then it's significant at one level uh, one percent my bad um, and as you can see over here these values are uh, the p-value is 10 percent 26 percent 60 percent so it keeps going up and that says that the month value is not significant so what we're going to do first is just remove it <coughs> and now we have all of our variables statistically significant. Now, uh, the interpretation, uh, we're going to focus primarily on the um, estimate or the beta values. I, I, you know, actually what, I feel like this is sort of beyond the scope of this video, so I'm not going to go too much into it. Um, I, I, if you guys want, I can probably make a second video where I sort of go through linear regression, talk about what these different values mean, the standard error, the p-value, etc. Um, but that, I just wanted to show how you can basically predict um, the ozone level. And what this is basically saying is for each unit increase uh, in solar radiation, for instance, the ozone value goes up by 0.05 for each unit increase the in in wind speed the ozone value goes down by 3.33 uh, and similarly for temperature for each unit increase in temperature so each time the temperature goes up by a single degree the ozone goes up by 1.65 right pretty pretty straightforward but that's all i'm going to touch when it comes to the linear regression nothing more than that but um uh, this is uh, sort of, I think, a good good introduction when it comes to data analysis. We've cleaned the data. We've got rid of the missing values. We have created new variables into a data frame. We have changed the structure of the data. And we have also, uh, towards the very end, created a very simple linear regression model. Um, I hope this video was helpful. Um, this is my first time making a video of this nature, so if you have any comments, any feedback or suggestions, please feel free to leave that in the comment section below. Um, thank you very much and have a great day.